You thought y'all was hot shit because y'all was jumped up 40%. Woohoo, good numbers. But look what you, look how long it took you to get it. It'll take y'all six more years to do what Kayla Clark has done for the WNBA in one year. One year. Hell, you ain't even over with yet. <laughs> Kayla Clark did that shit in April. <laughs> Yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolate with the sexy body, and I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been rocking with your boy, man. It's been so real. The support is awesome. I appreciate you so much. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Be part of Chocolate Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know we post videos and live streams. But especially hit that like button because it attaches me to that live that algorithm, and y'all know how that shit works, right? It sends it to YouTube, and YouTube say, "Hey, y'all go check out Chocolate." So y'all come check out Chocolate, man. Let's get into this video. And look, WNBA, you should be concerned because Kayla Clark don't need you. Kayla Clark don't need to play in the WNBA. She don't need the money because she already got NIL deals when she was in college, right? This woman has the opportunity to go play a different sport as she has been offered a deal to go play golf. Golf. Now, I saw some videos and some pictures of her before out there playing golf, but I didn't think that she could really play. Right. I just thought that she was like probably like a Charles Barkley type just going out there because it's something to do. But from what I understand now, she's pretty damn good. She's pretty damn good if it's saying that she came this close to hitting a hole in one, but she knocked in birdie. Go read the report for yourself. Do you know how 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 rare it is to hit a hole in one? Right. Just for the average golf player, twelve thousand and five hundred to one odds that you hit a hole in one. For professionals, it's twenty five hundred, and for just the the amateur pro golfer, amateur five thousand to one. And this woman went out there and almost knocked in a hole in one. So what does that tell you? This is greatness. This woman that you see right now, Caitlin Clark, is greatness. This is a generational talent that has been fumbled by the WNBA. This was somebody that they had should have gotten behind because it's just like Steph Curry, it's just like a Michael Jordan. It's just like these people who will bring so much eyes and attention to the sport. Do you understand if Caitlin Clark goes over there and plays golf, how many eyes will switch over to watching golf? How many women coming up, how many little girls who coming up will be like, I can play golf too, mom? Yes. I can play golf, dad? Yes. You can do anything. And these people are seeing this from Caitlin Clark, that you can do anything anything this woman can switch up and just be like i'm done with y'all over there in the, in the national basketball association for women i'm done with that bullshit i'm not gonna keep putting myself through that for what these women have to keep playing basketball guys understand what i'm saying right now these women have to keep playing basketball because they don't make enough money to sustain a lifestyle that they have for an entire year when you're only playing basketball for what four or five months and then after that, it's over. They don't make enough money. So they got to go play overseas. They got to start this unrivaled league, three-on-three, one-on-one shit. Kaylin's like, I'm going to go play golf. Do you understand that there are two type of people in life, right? There are type of people who are walking because they have to, and the type of people who are walking because they want to. Kaylin is a person who can go and walk because she wants to, because she ain't got to worry about nothing else. She ain't got to go play overseas to go make no damn money. She ain't got to go play no unrivaled league to, 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 to make a little bit more money. She don't have to do that. She is paving the way for you athletes in the WNBA, and you don't want to take it. She don't need y'all. She don't need it. She can get her money elsewhere. She made $3.1 million in NIL. She don't need the WNBA. And you know what would be really, really sad for y'all over there? If she just stopped playing, all those eyes, all of that, that additional exposure, the, the audience that showed up to watch the games, that was paying for all the merchandise, they are gone. And then you're going to go right back to the same mediocre sports league that you were before Caitlin Clark got there. You thought y'all was hot shit because y'all was jumped up 40%. Woohoo, good numbers. But look what you, look how long it took you to get it. It'll take y'all six more years to do what Kayla Clark has done for the WNBA in one year. One year. Hell, you ain't even over with yet. 
<laughs> Taylor Clark did that shit in April. <laughs> April, guys. The all everything increased because of this woman. Boy, 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 boy. And now she and, and, and she can actually play golf. This is what I say happens to, to haters. Haters. Haters miss out on all the great the, all the great things in life. They do. They miss out on all the great people in life because they're too busy talking down on things that they're not even close to being as good as. I've told you, I've never seen a hater doing better than a person that they hate on. All them people that was talking crazy about Kayla Clark, none of them are doing better than her. What happened to Kennedy Carter? What happened to her? She disappeared at some point during the season. We don't know. She was gone for like about four or five games. They said it was COVID. She come back. Now she's about to be gone again. About to get ready to trade if they haven't already traded her. Marina and them making fun of her. And DJ Nate, what happened to them? Yeah, you get your ass ousted. Everybody who made some type of fun of this woman for no damn reason, it's all came back on your tenfold. They call that karma. That's what they do. They call that karma. So all you women is getting your karma. And WNBA, look at this shit. You might get your karma with this girl going over to play golf. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is a generational talent that you are seeing right here, guys. This is a person. Tell me a time where you ever want to watch women play golf. I bet you it's not too many. Now, this woman, made, she, she got people to go over there and watch the WNBA. You don't think she's going to get people to go over there and watch golf, too? They know what's going on. I bet you Nike will get off their ass and make a golf shoe for Kaylin because this ain't got shit to do with Asia. She light years ahead of you, Asia. This ain't even no talk anymore about those women in the WNBA when it's comparing them to Kaylin Clark because she can do so many other things. Can any other women in the WNBA step away from that sport and still generate a buzz? Still get the spotlight on them. I don't think they can. Caitlin Clark is in a league of her own. Y'all better jump on board. I'm telling y'all, y'all better jump on board. Guys, look, I thank y'all for rocking with me. I just saw this uh, this article probably like five, ten minutes ago, so I, I just want to address it for myself, talk about it from my end and what I see, because if Caitlin can go over there and just play golf, she don't need y'all. She don't even need the money, and she'll make so much playing in the LPGA. That league that they're offering to play in, uh, Penultimate LPG Tour, right, it has a, a purse of $9.5 million. The first place winner gets $1.4 million. Second place gets $900,000. Third place gets $700,000. She don't need the WNBA. We about to not. I ain't even about to be talking about the WNBA. I'm about to be talking about golf. <laughs> For Kaylin Clark playing golf. Look, guys, that's my time, man. I'm out there. Oh, before I, before I go, y'all see that I hit on my my picks for Week Six in the NFL. I'm a guru. I might start doing prize picks or some shit like that. Underdog, come holler at your boy. I got Week Six perfect. A perfect pick. Rock with me, guys. Look, that's my time. I thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of Chocolaty Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos and live streams. I'm out this thing, guys. Peace. Peace.